I went through a bit of a change with my bikes over the summer. Gone is the 1290 Aventur R, the KTM that's been my companion over the summer and had replaced my 1190 Aventur R, which I'd had for over six years. Gone is my 525 EXC. In exchange, I've got a KTM 690 Enduro R, so I can still do my adventures, I can still do green lane in and off-road. But in addition to that, I've gone with a bike that was probably one of the favorite bikes I tested on Adventure Bike TV over the last few years, which was the BMW S1000 XR. Now, that's a sports adventure bike, and it left me with a very nice first world problem to have, which was, I have got Adventure Kit. So it's very much designed for off-roading combined with tarmac, and it looks that part. However, it doesn't really look the part on a sports adventure bike. So what kit could I have? Now, on the most recent series of Adventure Bike TV on Amazon Prime, we've all been wearing Merlin bike gear, which is very much, I think, for the, um, the cost conscious among us. So I decided to try something completely different, the opposite end of the scale. The Rolls Royce of motorbike gear, if you will, I've gone for Rucker. Now, before the haters start saying, oh, you've only chosen the most expensive gear, well, yes, I wanted to make a, a comparison with something that is a little more for the budget conscious to something which is more, I guess, the Rolls Royce of bike gear. And so let's put that to bed, put that behind us, and just move on and take it in the context of what it is. I will come back to the price question at the end of the video, I promise. What we've got here is my tried and tested Klim adventure suit. It's taken me all over the world and will continue to keep me company on the 690, but the S1000XR just needs a change. The Nevada suit is the top of the Rucker range, and there's a bunch of reasons why. I fully appreciate that it means it's not within every rider's budget, but this is a staggering piece of kit. With its stretch Cordura outer shell, it's got a slightly sportier look, perfect for what I'm after, and it's easily the most comfortable and best fitting suit I've tried on out of the box. I can't really overstate the importance of this. The stretch fabric is woven into the Gore-Tex and feels soft to the touch. It comes with a separate and rather fetching duck down liner. So the first time I rode with it, I was impressed by just how easily I could move around in it and how warm it kept me in temperatures hovering just above a January one degree C. For this budget, these things should almost be a given, but the fit really stands out. And Rucker have thought the suit out well. It's made from the very best materials and components. Along with the inner jacket, you get a zip out chest protector, well thought out cuffs that when worn properly, create a layer of Gore-Tex that means that water will not be able to find its way around to the gloves. There's another thing that really impressed me about the suit, the outer pockets. Rucker don't claim them to be totally waterproof. And in fairness, I don't think I've ever found an outer pocket that truly is. They're just up front and say it's water resistant. There seems to be enough vents, but I've not ridden it in warm weather. So on that aspect, I can't comment yet. So here's just a few technical details on the suit. It's Cordura construction and the Gore-Tex is a three layer stretch laminate. There's armor core strengthening on the elbows and shoulders and the armor is Rucker's D3O air in the elbow, shoulder, back and chest protectors. The waterproof YKK Aquaseal front zip needs to have the inner flap pulled carefully behind the zip to be fully waterproof. They don't just rely on the zip itself. There's a detachable collar made from elastic Gore-Tex stretch material. Perfect for keeping the weather out but it can be removed for the warm, dry days. And there's a six year warranty, as long as you register the product. So a conclusion about the Rucker Nirvana suit. Well, I have to say, I think it is one of the highest quality, most well thought out and very definitely most comfortable suits I think I've ever worn. But of course, yes, that does come at a price. I guess that's going to be down to every individual to decide is that the right value for them. It comes with a six year warranty and I would certainly hope and expect the suit to last a lot longer than that. So whether that's the right value for you is down to every single individual, but I absolutely loved it and I can't wait to continue using it 
throughout the spring and the summer on some much longer trips.